lot of people say to me, why can't electric cars be more sexy? Why do they have to look like 1970s bathroom fittings? And that's a perfectly reasonable question. Well, the Renault Twizy, the car I'm driving at the moment, is a rather unusual looking car, but it's selling far more than Renault ever expected. And everyone who drives them absolutely loves them, including me. However, there are some electric cars appearing that are even appealing to seasoned car snobs. Now, throughout history, the very wealthy have often been at the forefront of supporting uh, emerging technologies. It was only very wealthy people who could actually afford to buy cars when they first appeared over 100 years ago. And really, that's what they should be doing now. But let's be honest, it's very unlikely that a premier footballer is going to buy a Renault Twizy. But there are some cars emerging which could possibly catch their eye. Range car, you're going out to London, it's it makes you makes you feel good, it looks great, and it, it does give a message about you as a driver that you are caring. Is it a green car? The answer is it's an awful lot greener than any other supercar. <laughs> yes. And I have a huge issue yeah. with the whole notion of green and car. You know? Yeah. I, I think the two words shouldn't ever be. Prepared. No, I'm, that's why I'm cynical as well. Because even though I've been in lots of electric cars, the it's bonnet like that, you expect to hear, you know, expect to hear a V12 going and a lot of throbbing and noise and. What you miss compared to driving a conventional V8, V12 foot sports car, you miss the opening ceremony of the yeah. room, the fireworks yeah. going off because it's quick. Once you get moving, you don't really miss it. No, no. And. Also, I think you reach an age where you don't actually have to shout at the world. Yes. The price range, we're talking about £150,000 plus price range, where you become slightly inelastic. You know, you're going to spend a lot of money on a car, you're going to yeah. spend it. So you are, in fact, talking about the, the 1%, and the 1% Definitely. at the moment are the people who are the least affected by anything that the rest of us are aware of, i.e. recession, totally. wage cuts, job loss, <laughs> unemployment. In fact, most of them got a London property and that, you know, yeah. central London property and that's done very well. But I mean, it does, it also does all the things that, you know, whenever I show something like the Leaf, the Twizy, the, you know, the, the Renault Zoe, any of those cars, they go, why can't they make them sexy? Why can't they make them, you See, know, that's a turning look, that's look, look really cool? And then I often say, just have a look at this, and I just send them the, your website. And, and, it be, and it always does it. it always, oh my God, that's what they should look like. Yeah. Isn't it? And it does this. It's an amazing looking car. Yeah, really performance is. looks and style. Why? And also, having money buys you the right to have a nice car. Yeah. It doesn't buy you the right to pollute. No. So why should a man or woman sit in a V12 car in Park Lane in traffic? Belching out five times the fumes, yeah. pollution, yeah, the person little, next to them in a polo. Yes, exactly. They bought the right to have a nice car, but in my book, you haven't you can't buy the right to pollute. Yeah. What we're finding already is that people I think who are going to drive electric cars, you might back this up, do drive do more miles in them in cities because they are zero, you know, emissions yeah. of point of use. Yeah. So you don't feel the guilt factor, yeah. you feel positive towards them yeah. and using them in built up areas. Now, does that increase congestion? Arguably yes. Does it, though, affect the environment you're in? No. no. It has two 150 kilowatt motors driving the rear wheels and producing a peak of 402 brake horsepower. It uses lithium titanate batteries with two configurations, either 36 or 44 kilowatt hours. This gives the car a range of between 120 and 150 miles on a charge. It takes around two hours to recharge using a fast charger if the batteries are completely empty. The starting price is £150,000. But best of all, it's really comfortable and it's not hard to get in and out of. Nice.